Welcome to Knoxville for the second race of the SRX series. This is only 50 laps on dirt. Laps are actually faster. So, and based on how I've practiced, I think I won't cause as many incidents. I hope I don't. It ended up being 10 cautions, but I probably caused all of them. <laughs> it was pretty bad. So, hopefully this race is a lot cleaner. And yeah, we're racing at Knoxville. So, we got ninth in qualifying. So, kind of another poor starting position. Um, see if we can drive up through the field. Hopefully this race just, when I turn the aggression up to 100 on minimum and max. Um, for all the cars too, so we'll see if they race more aggressive. Hopefully it makes these races more entertaining. I'll try to be more, try to share my dulcet, voice might make my dulcet tones louder. I don't know. Already gotten past a few cars. Looks like we made some contact there with Tony Stewart. So we made one, we have one position that lap. I mean, initial start we did, you know, fall behind to the car on our outside. We were all past him. I don't remember who that was. Also, so I'll show after the race, they'll show the Winston points along with the um, RSRX points that I'll just keep track of. Up to fifth. Now you gotta try to get by Scott Bloomquist. Really send that one in there. I like to think I'm pretty good under in our 2003. It's 99% difficulty. Cash Rabbits goes around me on the outside. So the next two races I'll probably do pretty well, but we'll have to see how Lucas Doyle, Slinger, and Fairgrounds go. You know, I realized Tony Stewart was on the podium five out of the six races. Because now we fly up to the outside. It's a big mistake. You now, Ernie Francis Jr. is going to get by us. Yeah, I don't know how to run the outside. And I have any progress with the on dirt tracks. I think just overall in NR2003, I don't do very well running the outside as much as I just enjoy seeing it enjoy doing so I just I think that's just how it works with like I racing too so I think it's a papyrus thing but now we are falling back you know it's not like we're pushing our tires because there's really not much there's really not tire wear on dirt tracks my lap time just said so I don't know what I'm doing different. Maybe I'm just taking it a little bit, you know, more, less serious, more casual. Side by side with Michael Waltrip. Oh, we get loose off the corner. We can get to our outside. We're gonna fight to stay on it inside in the turn slide up and that it's going to open the door for him to clear us and for i think that's that halo demon may get by us on the outside we use great runoff i 
Watson put Haley Dean on this series. Oh, dang, that was a terrible corner. Paul Tracy and Haley Deegan get by us. That was probably my slow slap with the race until the initial start. Oh, my gosh, we're down to 10. Now it's got room for us. I don't know what happened. Maybe they figured out how to race here, and I have forgotten just in terms of fast laps. I don't know. Well, I was up there battling, I think, for the up to the fourth battling for the third at one point. I don't know why I've fallen back so far. That was a pretty fast lap. I still lost time to Bobby Labonte. Maybe I just race better in traffic than they do. Now they've got clean air, they're doing better. About six of the way through the race. Been a lot cleaner than the Stafford race and the truck race at Knoxville. Around that's about eight hundredths of a second off my fastest lap. I think I'm starting to put down fast laps again. Three laps to go. We got 25 lap green play limit. We might get there. Really, here is on the lead lap, but when we see Tony Stewart on our radar. Okay, so that is the fun play. I will see you. Yeah, I don't know if the fun flags are different lengths for different tracks, but because I wasn't able to watch an actual race, you know, because of where I stayed. So I was on vacation at the time and where I stayed, we didn't, where I was staying, they didn't get CBS somehow. I don't know. How you, you know, they got other channels. I don't know how. I guess my grandma doesn't get NBC, but she gets all other big channels like NBC and Fox and ABC and whatnot. 
Yeah, I don't know if they had different laps for fun plays, but so I don't know. I tried to pull a slide job on Bill Elliott. He still got around me. Contact with Bill Elliott. Now, Willie T. Ribs puts me into the moves me on the outside. See if I can catch back up to these guys. I'll probably do the 13th plus the race. I mean, love to see like some old F1 drivers in SRX. I don't think they'd be able to track track someone like a Michael Schumacher, but I think that would be epic. Well, like Doug Kobe, I mean, I thought before I knew that he was the local short track champion, I thought that he was one of them because he's a, I think a six or seven time Leland champion. I want to say six, I could be wrong. You know, let me know in the comment section down below. You don't have to look at it because it's not too big of a deal. I mean, chances are you're probably not watching this at this point. Is that my fastest lap of the race? Yeah, I just ran my fastest lap of the race. I haven't caught up to them, but I haven't lost much time either to them. I've stayed about a second behind Willie Tirib, so I'm going about as fast as he has. Brian Brown is the leader. I met someone named Brian Brown. It's kind of cool. I know it wasn't him. He was safely not dirt track. So. About half the, right around about half a second, maybe 0. 0.6 seconds ahead of Tony Stewart. We tried to catch up to Willie here and there. All right, the only line I know how around it is inside. The only track where I can really run the outside and make progress is probably Bristol. That's the uh, concrete, not dirt, of course. I don't know how realistic NR2003 is with swimming dirt, especially when you consider that there were no dirt tracks in the base game. Tracks that people have made are all really nice. None of these tracks uh, are in the base game that are in the tracks. 
All right. Can we get to Willie T? Lawyer for one point in SRX. But three in. Brian Brown, one. Stuart Francis. And we got Willie T. Ribs. It wasn't the cleanest of passes, but we beat him. We didn't lose. And he put us in the wall and martyred us to that far back earlier in the race, too. So I'm justified for him. <laughs> The 20 minute race. Um, Ryan Brown wins over Tony Stewart, Ernie Francis Jr., Marco Andretti, Bobby Labonte, Haley Deegan, Michael Walter, Haley Castro Nevers, Paul Tracy, Scott Bloom, Quiz, Bill Elliott, and me, and then Willie T. Ribs. Next race is Eldora. So, yeah, Tony Canon is the last time we said Tony Stewart, I don't know why. Who's led in both races? Tony Stewart, the only guy ever going to do that. Michael Walter, Paul Tracy, who are going to have a third run soon. By the line, only one to get two top tens. By the line, only one with multiple top fives. There was Andretti, lucky with their pull selections. We're fifth in points. Uh, we were second. So you can see where everyone is. I will show you. I will see you for the SRX points. Okay, so here are the points standing. Bobby Lani on top. This is the SRX actual points. I don't think I don't remember if there's any for lap slide. I or so let me know in the comments section down below if there is. I know there are for the heats. I'm not giving those to the heats, obviously. Um, but yeah, Bobby Lani on top with 41. Cash and Evans and Francis tied second with 28. Brian Brown one off. Uh, he's in fourth. I'm in fifth place right now. Fourth out of the full time drivers. One point ahead of Tony Stewart. Um, yeah, Willie T. Rib sees race both races and is 14th. So, uh, Bill Alley also pretty low. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in the next race that will be at Eldora.